The Interior Plains is a region of Canada with the Arctic to the north, Cordia to the west, and the Great Lakes to the east. The area that the Interior Plains covers is classified by the sedimentary rock found there, a feature that is prominent in the mining and resource development of the region. The region covers the Yukon, the Northwest Territories, BC, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba, and is considered subarctic, grasslands, wetlands, or tundra. The Interior Plains population is generally situated more in the south, with a population reaching about 19% of Canada's overall population. The Interior Plains is a crucial foresting industry, something that would naturally come to an area with its kind of features. The Interior Plains has a rich history and became popular through the discovery of waterways, which were used as trade routes for early fur traders around 1700. Economic activities mostly included hunting and trading within different native tribes of Cree, Blackfoot, Métis, and others. As Europeans immigrated into the area, trapping and trading became the major way of life. Food such as pemmican was also important because traders traveled for long stretches and required preserved food. Challenges native people faced included overexploitation of resources and negotiations with Europeans. The European settlers often tried to remove native peoples from their land for development purposes. Challenges facing the settlers included weather, culture, and workforce. It was challenging for some settlers to change their lifestyle and adapt to the new environment while establishing towns and trading posts. There were also few people who wanted to do the labor-intensive work of fur trading. The large amount of rivers and lakes in the area allowed traders to paddle and portage their way to different trade routes. Resource use was not as conservative or as moderated as it is today. In those days, people believed that the world had unlimited resources. One major example is the bison. Mass amounts of bison were slaughtered and the population plummeted. This caused issues for First Nations in the area because there was nothing left for them to hunt. Technology such as the gun and the horse made it easier for hunting and carrying supplies. Current economic activities comprise mostly of agriculture, transportation, of goods, mining, tourism, and forestry. Agriculture is considered to be the region's most important, as the produce is used by Canadians and by people around the world. Another important industry is mining. The plains used to be covered by glaciers, so deposits of potash, uranium, coal, oil, gas, and sediments lie under the land. This provides jobs for many people, and some of the larger cities such as Calgary, Edmonton, and Saskatoon are in areas with large amounts of these resources. Another industry in the interior plains is forestry. Although not as comparable to areas such as the Canadian Shield or Cordilleran region, there is forestry in some of the lower mountain regions. Challenges facing the economy include weather and overexploitation. Much of the region's economy comes from farming, so natural disasters such as drought, fires, storms, and tornadoes can be devastating. Mining is also a major industry and it is important not to overuse the resources so that the ecosystem can remain sustainable. However, this is a challenge because our world requires fuel for so many things and it is hard to conserve these resources if someone is willing to pay a high enough price. The landscape and beauty of this region is also one of the tourism aspects. As some people travel to witness the open plains in the south and the tundra and subarctic in the north. One of the larger crops grown in the plains is grain, and this is used for many of the foods we eat, such as bread, pasta, and cereal. Mining for potash is another large industry, and the plains alone produce 90% of Canada's potash. There are also many proposed pipelines, the biggest being the Enbridge Northern Gateway Pipeline. Much of the plains population is based in the area with the most agriculture and with the biggest cities. These major cities provide more office and business style jobs for people, and some people prefer to live in cities rather than rural or farm areas. In this way, technology greatly affects settlement and employment patterns. The capacity for future economic activity in the plains could be very high because of these proposed pipelines. This would be a major project and would require a massive number of workers. There could also be undiscovered oil or mineral deposits, which would also bring in many workers.